and welcome. Today I wanted to show you how I use my interactive Google Slides and I track engagement in real time. I'll go over how to create interactive Google Slides, but I also have another video that goes in more in depth if you need that as well. Let's get started. So this week I need to go over um, our state testing platform basically, so I'm going to have them exploring the platform. So I have created these interactive Google Slides. So to create the slide, I'm going to open up a blank presentation. And when you're doing interactive slides, you want to make sure you're creating that in your master view. That way the pieces don't move around for the students. It makes it very frustrating. So I go to view, master, this first one, the master and the master slide view, controls all the fonts, everything, one easy stop here. If you want to change any of your fonts, you can do that here. These are all the layouts that come with every presentation. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. I'm gonna duplicate it so I still have that available in the future. I'm gonna remove this text box. And I'm going to change the background color. And you can choose whatever color you'd like. If you wanna do a custom color, you just go down here. and choose the color that you like. File, insert word art. And question one and then enter. I'm going to just shrink it down. Oops. Grab the corner, shrink it down and put it into place. And this is gonna be looking at the first question on their practice state test. And it's just to get them to explore and learn the different tools. If I wanna change that color, I go up here to the fill bucket and I can do that. Change it to whatever color you like. I'm going to leave it white. And you can also change the border no border, or you can make it the same color, a different color. Then I want to add a text box. This is where I'm going to be typing in. I'm going to stretch this all the way to the end. That way I can get it nice and centered. Here, drop down, click center, and it will center it on that slide. Because I've done everything in the master slide, the students cannot move these pieces around. This is also where I want to get my animated GIFs, anything like that, to make it a little more engaging. To get my animated GIFs, I go to giphy.com, I typed encouraging, and then I go to stickers. Stickers will give you this. Instead of a full picture, it gives you little stickers, transparent backgrounds. I like this one. You got this. Just to keep encouraging them, click on copy the link. Double click here. Control C will copy the link. Go back to my presentation. I'm still in the master view. You can tell by the black border around here. I'm going to go insert image. And by URL, Control V will paste my link in there. Insert. And I can shrink it down. Notice the background is transparent, which I really like. Once you've created all your slides in Master View, you go over here next to the plus, the drop down arrow. They will all be listed here. You just click on it to add it. To your presentation. The way I created the post-it notes that all the students will type their response on, I went to insert, shape, and I chose the rectangle. I create a little square. I change the color to this bright yellow. 
no border, transparent, and then I just press Control D about 10 times, left click and highlight that, arrange, align left, arrange, align top. Now I have 10 there. I'm going to Control D this a couple more times. I could have kept on going, but the stack gets really big and out of control. Do the same thing. Arrange, align left, arrange, align top. So we have at least 50 post-it notes there. So once you create the first one, the rest come really quickly. So let me go back into master view. For my next question, all I'm going to do is control D and it's going to give me this same slide and you can change the background color. You can leave the you got this. And then you're going to change your question. So just so you'll see, I'm going to go ahead and change the background. So that's all in master view. Those pieces are not easily moved unless students actually go into master view. I'm going to create this, or sorry, I'm going to delete this first slide. So there's our first slide question. Go to the drop down arrow. I'm going to add the pink one because I want to show you how quickly and easily it, it copies and pastes these post-it notes. Once you've got all your slides listed here, if you left click, highlight over the post-it stack, it will highlight them all. Control C will copy it. Click on your next slide. Control V will paste it in the same exact position. You will do that and paste in every single one of your slides the post-it notes. If you take a look here, I put some eyes here. And then here, I didn't want them to do post-it notes. I gave them two choices. I just did the same thing I did with post-it notes. The only difference is I went to insert, image, search the web and I search for a check, yellow check mark. Once you find one that you like, you just click on it and then click insert. And then the students, because I created a stack of these, can drag and drop those. So the elements that you want your students to move are in this editing view. Everything else is in the master view. So all of this I created in the master view that way, when the students are dragging and dropping things, it's not going to move everything around. Sometimes I've gotten lazy and I didn't do it in Master U, and it causes difficulty for the students. But here you can see all my slides are created in Master View. Then I just went to Editing View, and I went to the drop down arrow, and I added them, each one of them my slide deck. As your students go through and add the post-its, you are going to see them on your end typing because when you share this, you're going to share it as an editable file. Up here, you're not going to change this to preview, make a copy. Everybody's going to get this same exact link. Everyone's going to be working on the same exact file. Do not go up here and change the word to preview or copy or anything like that. You want everybody working on the same exact slide deck. You go to share. I'm the owner and you want to give everybody editing access. So not restricted. We want anyone with the link. Not viewer, we want them to be editor. So change that to editor. And that's the link you're going to copy. You're going to share it out in whatever learning management system that you use. I use Google Classroom. I share it out in Google Classroom. Do not click the button to make a copy for everybody. Everybody's working on the same exact copy. So as students are working, you're going to see them live working. What I like to do is go up here. This is your revision history link. 
open your vision, revision history and the one that you are going to be saving and sharing out to your student, I would name that your original because we're gonna be going back and reverting back to that. For me, I teach multiple periods throughout the day. So I use one slide deck for all my classes and I keep reverting it back to the original. So now that I've named it, once you share this out with your students, this is a sample of what you'll see. As you see here, this is a review that I did with my students. They were all answering, writing their responses down here. So as you can see up here on top, you can see my revision history. When I click on that, over here on the side, this is the day that I used it, October 10th, you will see all of the students' names listed. What I would do at the end of the period to prepare for my next class, I would just go back to the one that I wanted to start with, which happened to be this one. I would click on it, restore this version, and then it's ready for the next class. When they come in, all the answers are erased, so they belong. So I have a list for everyone who participated that day. I know exactly who participated. I can see them in real time participating. This is a really great feature. We're really involved and engaged with the lesson. Hope you found this helpful. Remember, step out, be uniquely wonderful you, and have a great day.